Evac Orca 4 Bravo Sewage Treatment Plant. This system is designed to treat black and grey waste water on board maritime vessels prior discharging it overboard. Evac Orca 4 Bravo is a purely electrolytic waste water treatment plant that fulfills the requirements of MEPC 22764 of the International Maritime Organization. In this video, we will explain in detail about the operation of the EVAC ORCA 435 Bravo model which has a hydraulic loading capacity of 3150 liters per day. To start, let us understand the main components of EVAC ORCA 4 Bravo sewage treatment plant. The system consists of a PLC based electrical control panel, a sewage treatment or a reaction tank. During the sewage treatment process, the ventilation of the reaction tank is done through a force blower which feeds the air into the reaction tank from the STP compartment. Any gases produced during the sewage treatment process ejects from the tank through the air outlet vent which extends up to the open weather. The reaction tank is fitted with four in numbers level sensors namely low level sensor, seawater level sensor, sludge level sensor and high level sensor. Starting of the sewage treatment plant mandates the requirement of 4 to 6 bar pressure of LP air which is fed from the LP air cylinder through the air filter to the air distribution valve. The distribution valve further feeds the LP air to the pneumatic valves of seawater pump, macerator pump, electrolysis come sludge pump and the discharge pump. The sewage treatment process starts with the seawater pump which intakes the seawater either from the fireman line or directly from the seawater chest and fills up the reaction tank up till the seawater level sensor. This is the PLC based control panel of STP. As we can see the main supply has been switched on. The next step is to check the availability of 4 to 6 bar pressure of LB air. Ensure that the emergency stop button is disengaged. Now we will change over the switches of all four pumps to auto mode. Next step is to turn the operation switch to start. The seawater pump has started filling the reaction tank and will run for approximately 7 minutes till the seawater reaches the seawater level sensor. The PLC is the brain of the electrical control panel that controls the timely operation of all valves and pumps based on the inputs received from various sensors and switches. We can see that the seawater pump is on. In addition, the electrolysis pump will also start. This ensures that the cell is cleaned with the seawater once before the sewage treatment starts. Both the seawater and electrolysis pump will stop when the water level reaches the seawater level sensor. The system consists of a separate holding tank which has got two inlets and two outlets. The sewage from the toilet is transferred to the holding tank through the vacuum toilet system. The sewage is then transferred from the holding tank to the reaction tank for treatment using the macerator pump. The sewage treatment is such that the treated sludge from the reaction tank is transferred to the holding tank through the sludge pump and the effluent in the form of water is discharged overboard. The treated sludge getting stored into the holding tank is then required to be manually discharged overboard beyond 12 nautical miles from coastline or transferred onto a barge when at harbour. The macerator pump transfers the sewage from holding tank to the reaction tank till the point the seawater and sewage mixture inside the reaction tank reaches to the level of sludge level sensor.
the electrolysis cum sludge pump then starts the recirculation of sewage and sea water inside the reaction tank through the electrolytic cell a 24 volt dc input voltage is supplied to the electrolytic cell from this ac to dc converter cum control panel this control panel indicates a 50 second timer voltage and the current readings after every 50 seconds the polarity of the cathode and anode inside the cell is reversed we can see that after 50 seconds the polarity has been changed from negative to positive electrolytic cell is the most crucial component of stp and reversing the polarity after every 50 seconds ensures that the health of the cell is not deteriorated with time as the sewage passes through the electrolytic cell it gets treated this treatment continues for a duration of 50 minutes post which the sludge pump stops the treated mixture inside the reaction tank is then allowed to settle for 1 hour post 1 hour the treated sludge settled at the bottom of the reaction tank is transferred to the holding tank through the sludge pump during the process of electrolysis if blockage occurs inside the pipelines the two safety switches namely electrolysis pressure switch and electrolysis flow switch will activate as a result of reduced pressure and flow and eventually the system will stop towards avoiding any damage to the electrolytic cell the sludge pump runs for 5 seconds only post which the treated effluent left inside the reaction tank is discharged overboard by the discharge pump through the brush away filter to the sea this is the practical demonstration indicating the flow of effluent through the discharge pump passing through the brush away filter and leading to the overboard discharge as the effluent discharges from the reaction tank and passes through the brush away filter the particles higher than the desired sizes gets trapped inside the filter and only the desirable size effluent particles are discharged overboard when the brush away filter gets clogged this indicator pops up then the cleaning of the filter is required to be undertaken by rotating the wheel 3 to 4 times this way the clogged particles are brushed down and transfer back to the holding tank if the indicator is popped up there exists a provision to bypass the brush away filter by opening the bypass valve and by closing the filter valve this way the treated effluent will be directly discharged overboard with this we have completed the demonstration of evac orca 4 sewage treatment plant let us now highlight the hazard associated with the sewage treatment plants the stps on board ships are enclosed in confined compartments anaerobic breakdown of untreated sewage for prolonged period can produce toxic gases most commonly observed toxic gas is h2s h2s is a flammable explosive and colorless gas which at low concentrations has a distinctive rotten egg smell which gets collected in low lying enclosed and poorly ventilated areas the gas is poisonous and when inhaled enters the blood stream paralyzing the nervous system and affecting the oxygen carrying capability of the blood therefore we will now discuss the important precautionary and safety measures which should be strictly adhered to one periodic flushing down of stp tanks 
and pipelines should be undertaken by ship staff in accordance with the OEM manual to avoid even the remote possibility of accumulation of sludge. 2. Calibration of H2S sensors, both fixed and portable, should be undertaken every 6 months. 3. Safety placards and operating instructions from respective OEM manual should be displayed at all key locations of the sewage system. 4. Under no circumstances, the sewage pipelines, tanks and associated valves or venting arrangements should be opened by ship staff for maintenance. Such maintenance activities are to be undertaken through respective OEM, OEM authorized reps or trained dockyard personnel only. And last, the maintenance of STP should be undertaken using the OEM recommended space only.